Hi there, thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today. I hope you're having a fantabulous day. Now, in this video, I'm going to just quickly look at digestive and systemic enzymes because I was asked a question about this. Digestive enzyme um, works to digest food. It works to help the body to break down and digest the foods. And, you know, in most digestive formulas, digestive enzyme formulas would include um, amylase for breaking down starches, protease for bro breaking down proteins, for example, you know, um, lactase for milk and um, cellulase um, for, you know, vegetable matter and like I say, it's for it's to help with the digestive um, um, function because sometimes the food we have problems um, with digestion um, because for various reasons um, such as um, food intolerances and um, not chewing properly and and, and other um, other um, illnesses or diseases that have you know digestive issues associated with them and so gen so digestive enzymes they can be very effective some brands are more effective than others they can really work um to to uh, and provide relief for a lot of people especially um elderly people whereas you have the systemic enzyme which works on the body it works on the system the whole system and usually it's taken away from food so you don't take it with food because if you take it um in close proximity to when you have you have consumed food then it will um, work to break down the food and you don't want it to do that. Usually you want it to work on the body. People have used systemic enzymes to, um, um, to, to deal with cancers, to deal with, you know, fibroid tumors and other tumors, to deal with, you know, joint pains, you know, arthritis and various other, you know, um, diseases they have used these enzymes for and I don't in general have an issue with enzyme um, I've used enzymes myself um, the, 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 the thing is I think people use enzyme not everybody some people use uh, use enzymes as a crutch and except for people who are really in tough situations and really um don't know how to 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 you know go about not living without them or for some reason they they, they are in a in a really bad state um those people you know i can say okay maybe their situation um, mean that it would be difficult to get off it but even in in those cases i feel that one shouldn't still not use enzymes as a crutch um, you use it for a period if you need to to help you to get through something but if you're having digestive issues for example because you want to consume milk when when um, you know your body is rejecting it or you insist on eating certain types of food that just doesn't agree with you and for for reasons such as those I don't think um, for the long term, it is a good reason to continue to take, you know, um, digestive um, enzyme because that's the one that people tend to be, to become, you know, so um, used to they can't go anywhere with it. And even the systemic enzyme, um, you know, try to change the diet, change the lifestyle. And if you want to use a systemic enzyme or your digestive enzyme every once in a while, okay, so be it. But when it becomes a crutch and really an easy way out for you to not have a proper diet, 
you know, because, oh gosh, you can't be bothered with fruits and vegetables or anything like that. Then I think um, in the long run, um, sometimes people will find that they don't work as effectively. Um, they don't work as effectively anymore. And also, uh, because it's a case where the body has gotten used to them, and also you take you're taking away the body's um, ability to do its job. The body becomes lazy. The functions of the body becomes lazy because you're in taking the enzyme. You're taking the enzyme to do for the body what the body is supposed to be doing for itself. So unless you're in a situation where you know really serious situations where you have been advised to, you know, be on enzymes for whatever reason. I don't make it a long-term process. Use it if you need to um, for a period of time to combat whatever issues you're dealing with. And then once you are in the clear, then make a transition to a more healthier lifestyle. So that's my take on digestive and systemic enzymes. I hope you found this useful. Subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. Don't forget, be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. Ta-ta!